will be distributed later. However, I am anxious that you should see immediately the remarkable results that I have achieved. And to that end, I have arranged this demonstration. You have the audacity to interrupt one of my experiments. But he would have destroyed him. So you think the saving of a worthless life more important than the progress we have made? My creature showed a natural desire, an instinct to destroy, and you interceded! You will be punished for this! You will tell me the reason for every Dalek defeat. With that knowledge, I will program them. With that knowledge, they will know their errors and how to avoid them. With that knowledge, there will be no defeats. We will begin! You will tell me! You will tell me! Seems an opportune moment to end this session, Nida. The interrogation will continue later, and I must thank you, Doctor. What you have told me will be invaluable. All this information, this foreknowledge, will be programmed into the Dalek memory banks. Take them away. The Doctor, stay a moment. Sit down. Let us talk together now, not as prisoner and captor, but as men of science. There is so much I wish to know. Nida, take charge of the tape. Immediately, Davros. It will be your responsibility. And remember, it is priceless. Its value beyond computation. Yes. Do you believe that I would let a lifetime's work be ended by the will of spineless fools like you? You have won nothing. I allowed this charade to be played out for one reason only to find those men who were truly loyal to me and to discover those who would betray me. We, I will go on. I created you. I am the master, not you. I, I, I. You cannot exist without me. You cannot progress. No, wait. Those men are scientists. They can help you. Let them live. Have pity. So, the long darkness has ended, an eternity of waiting is over. The resurrection has come, as I always knew it would. Now, where are my Daleks? Doctor. Dead. I do not die. Mark this moment, Doctor. In the history of the universe, this moment is unique. Davros lives! You will release me. You will return me to the Daleks. Do you believe your puny efforts can change the course of destiny? Destiny, Doctor. What? Invincible necessity. Oh, that, that, yeah. Power. My power. My invincibility. My supreme plan to control the, the universe. universe. Yes, yes, I've heard all that before. Now, do be a good chap, eh? Errors of the past will be rectified. I will add new design elements to the Daleks' circuitry. They will be armed with new weaponry. Weaponry so devastating that all matter will succumb to its power. I will equip them with all the knowledge of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. The Daleks need me. Advise Dalek Central Control in space that I require immediate transportation. Every moment we remain on Skaro, we are vulnerable to attack. Supreme Dalek. <laughs> that is a title I shall dispute most vigorously. I created the Daleks. It is I who will guide their destiny. I am the Supreme Commander. Release Davros. Who are you, Commander? My Daleks do not need troops. You speak as 
so my Daleks are no longer capable of war. The war with the Movellans is over. It is to be expected. I'm talking about Dalek casualties. Dalek casualties? They lost Davros. They were totally defeated. <laughs> there are malfunctions in my life support system. I require an engineer. I must be being close to my cryogenic chamber. It may be necessary for me to be refrozen. It will take days for the task force to arrive. Not if the signal's been intercepted by a patrol ship. Then you will shoot it down! I cannot be moved! Two totally logical war machines unable to outthink each other. Fascinating! If only I'd been there. But then the Mavellas found the answer. <laughs> Sorry, sir. So... They have returned to their creator. Like an errant child, they have come home once more. But this time, they will not abuse me. This time, I shall take my rightful place as their supreme being and under my control, the Daleks do once more become triumphant! I was frozen in that. Ninety years of mind-numbing boredom. You were conscious. For every second. The creatures of Earth have no stomach for judicial murder. They prefer to leave you to slowly rot and die. They call it being humane. It is a planet I shall destroy at my leisure. But first! I must deal with a meddling Time Lord. That has been anticipated. You have the Doctor? Excellent. Once I have drained his mind of all knowledge, he shall then die slowly and painfully. He has interfered for the last time. The Doctor and his TARDIS. Perfect! Welcome, Doctor. I have waited many years for this meeting. It was but a pleasure deferred. Now you are here, you will repay tenfold for the mental agony I suffered. It is the only path to ultimate power. What are you doing? Stein, kill him! I'm not here as your prisoner, Davros. But your executioner. Listen to me. I had planned to completely redesign the Daleks. My mistake was making them totally ruthless. It restricted their ability to cope with creatures who rely not only on logic, but instinct and intuition. That is a fact that I wish to correct. They will learn to recognize the strength that can be drawn from such an emotion to make them a more positive force. For destruction! The universe is at war, Doctor. Name one planet whose history is not littered with atrocities and ambition for empire. It is a universal way of life. Which I do not accept. Then you deny what is real. Join me! You will have total power at the head of a new Dalek army! You hesitate, Doctor. If I were you, I would be dead. I lack your practice, Davros. You are soft, like all Time Lords. You prefer to stand and watch. Action requires courage, something you lack. Now for the Daleks. I did not summon your assistance, by whose order? Exterminate me, and you abandon your lives without Daleks are dead. Long live the new Daleks! Uh, what is happening? No! No! It cannot be! I am not a Dalek! I cannot die! I am Davros! Shut the fool up! <laughs>
My lure has worked! I can order Daleks to detain him! No! It will give me the greater pleasure to watch his own curiosity deliver him into my hands! Show me! Inform Tarkis. There are body snatchers in the catacombs. You know too much, Tarkis. I shall speak to her. Ah! My dear Khan. I do not wish to hear any more from your prattling tongue. Forgive me. I want... I need more money. I cannot complete my researches without it. <laughs> Call me by my name on an open channel! I would sooner accept your money. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fool, Jobel. I have offered you immortality! Yet you are content to play with the bodies of the dead. So, you will join the number! <laughs> Suddenly everyone sees and knows too much! Yes, child. I have been watching your progress this last few months. And I am pleased with what I see. You have a good attitude to your work. And you have a pleasing personality. Who is your head of department? Mr. Jobel. Of course. I shall speak to him. Tell him, if you're agreeable, of course, that I should like you transferred to my personal staff. Good. You will find the work very different from that you have been used to. But I'm sure you will not find it unrewarding. Thank you. Please me, and I can offer you the universe. Stay with me. See what goes on here. I will tell Jobel where you are. It is all as planned. I think you should attend. Me. Thank you, great healer. Show me, Jobel! I am told that you have affection for this man. Oh, I did once. He is a difficult man. Arrogant, wouldn't you agree? Yes. I once offered him immortality. He turned it down. He's a fool, then, as well as being arrogant. I agree. But I sense that you still have affection for him. So I have observed. If someone had treated me the way he has treated you, I think I would have killed them. What's that? Ah. Remove that object. You cannot kill me! I am the wrath! The fact you have realized too late, Grand Master Orsini. Place your guns on the floor. You are old, Orsini! You are reflexes of God! Do you think you are the first to try and kill me? That tank was but a simple lure! A focal point for the assassin's bullet! A box of delight, or a box of hate? Yours, I believe. You should know. It is a transmitter. Brought by your assassin. I have never trusted you, Kara. Give the box to Orsini. I see you've been busy. Whereas you have been stupid, Doctor. Safe. For the time being. Ah! There I was, fortunate. As with the news of Stengos' death, it was all part of my scheme to lure you here. You can't.
cannot steal what has already been abandoned. No one is interested in the people here. There you are mistaken, Doctor. I am known as the Great Healer. A somewhat flippant title, perhaps, but not without foundation. I have conquered the diseases that brought their victims here. In every way, I have complied with the wishes of those who came in anticipation of one day being returned to life. All the resting ones I have used were people of status, ambition. They would understand, especially as I have given them the opportunity to become masters of the universe. With you as their emperor. But what of the lesser intellects? Or will they be left to rot? Better than that, Doctor. I never waste a valuable commodity. The humanoid form makes an excellent concentrated protein. This part of the galaxy is developing quickly. Famine was one of its major problems. You turn them into food? A scheme! that has earned me great acclaim. But did you bother to tell anyone they might be eating their own relatives? Certainly not! That would have created what I believe is termed consumer resistance. They were grateful for the food. It allowed them to go on living. Until you take over their planet. Precisely. Ah! now. You are weak. There's the switch. End my life. You, not them. Do your own dirty work. End my life. If you have the stomach for it. No. I am alone, Doctor. The last of my race. Doctor, do you know who is the nearest thing that I have to a friend? Nope. You. Me? 
But we have been through a lot together, have we not? We are both scientists. Your intellect, your experience. You are a shining light in a dark galaxy. We have much in common. We're not friends, Davros. No. No. But I often think that in some strange dream of history, we might have been. I'm sorry my chair doesn't move very quickly. That's not something you need to apologize for, Professor. Sometimes it's difficult to believe that once I was able to stand and walk on my own two legs. Can you imagine that, Miss Bush? Of course, sir. Oh, let us dispense with such formalities for the moment, Melanie. Mel. You threaten the potential final solution to the Dalek problem with petty affections for this female... I do, Davros. Now, prepare to surrender to your creations and face trial on Scaro. Never! Juggernaut's threat mode! I do apologize on behalf of my friend. He's been going on and on about how he thinks you're some person named Davros. I am sorry, Melanie, but it is true. I'm a Time Lord, and I finally have some time to lord it over. And that is important. Important? Being, being you, knowing what you are, and being... Well, yes. Wouldn't you agree? But who are you? Who are you, really? Do you remember the first time we met on Scaro, all those centuries ago? Yes. What is this, Thomas? What about the clone? You know, the reason you brought me here? Would I release the virus? Virus? Your hypothetical virus. The one that would destroy everything. The one that would set me up above the gods. What have you done? I was alone. And I needed to create. So, I created the virus, and we became God! Then, as the years of solitude continued, we had to decide where my new home, my kingdom should be. Where could I release my virus? Where could I truly become God? <laughs> and then, then, we remembered you once more! You who destroyed our world, and... I destroyed yours. I should kill you, give you the freedom you so desperately seek. Ah, yes, please. But I won't. Ah. Because that would be too easy. Why? Because, and you can sneer at the cliché all you like, but where there's life, there is hope. What is happening to me? Do you know who you are? Sometimes we are me, and sometimes I am me! You're scared, aren't you? Daleks fear nothing! I am losing myself. Finally, I am losing Devros. I'm sorry. No, my humanity gone. No, no, I am Davros. I am supreme. I am, I am no! Davros is gone. Davalos is dead. I am the Emperor! You were inferior! You were a child! A child, yes. But so very much more a man than those surrounding me. A council of twelve passing their judgments in the House of Congress. They never saw what was coming. They never understood the potential because they were too scared. Too scared of my intelligence, my aptitude. My determination. It would be many years later before that weak, spineless individual who believed he ruled the current city, the Supremo, finally enabled me to realize my potential. Only my mother believed in me. The rest of them feared me. And they were right to do so. Davros. Magritte? And he's still alive. Oh. What's left of him? Genetically mutated by the radiation. Fascinating. Mother says that the war will be won by scientists. I'm going to be a scientist. You're going to be a soldier, Davros. Like your father. Like your grandfather. Like his father before him. Let's have no more talk of science. Leave it to me. 
I'll protect you. My precious boy, I knew I could trust you. Always, Mother. Always. I thought about commissioning a statue of some kind to house Yarvel's ashes. Yes. Why not? I suppose that would be a fitting tribute. Hello. Can you see me? I am Davros. I am your creator. Da it's trying to speak. Davros, come along, you can do it. Davros. Yes, that's right. That's it exactly. I, I am. Here's to the future. Yes, Snyder. The future. I am alive. Ingenious. I am proud to see that you have. Move. Where are you taking me? Take me to the command deck. I insist on speaking to your leader. Silence. I need to go no further. Move. Silence! Conversation with the prisoner is not permitted! Prisoner? Who am I? Are you afraid to answer that question? Daleks fear nothing! Do you fear your creator? You are Davros! You are our creator! But you have betrayed us! You are to be taken to Scarrow for trial! So you say. You know me, don't you? No further questions, Bold! I am at the very heart of you. You cannot turn against me. You must know that. If you do not move, we will override the motive power of your life support unit! Come, come, my children. Take me to the command deck. Your voice is different, and yet... It's... Arrogance is unchanged. But he's dead. Welcome to my new empire, Doctor. It is only fitting that you should bear witness to the resurrection and the triumph of Davros, Lord and Creator of the Dark Race. Doctor? Have you nothing to say? It's all right. We're, we're in the TARDIS. We're safe. You were destroyed. In the very first year of the time war at the gates of Elysium. I saw your command ship fly into the jaws of the Nightmare Child. I tried to save you. But it took one stronger than you, Dalek Khan himself. I flew into the wild and fire. I danced and died a thousand times. Emergency temporal shift took him back into the time war itself. But that's impossible. The entire war is time locked. And yet he succeeded. Oh, it cost him his mind. But imagine a single, simple Dalek succeeded where emperors and time lords have failed. A testament, don't you think, to my remarkable creations? And you made a new race of Daleks. I gave myself to them, quite literally. Each one uh, grown from a cell of my own body. New Daleks. True Daleks. I have my children, Doctor. What do you have now? The Daleks serve no one but... Ah, the Black Dalek. Once upon a time, I spoke to you every day. You were my conduit to this entire city. Ah, I suddenly feel quite nostalgic. Are you the same Black Dalek as when I was last here? I am the 14th Dalek to bear the title. Ah, several generations down. You won't remember me then. Probably none of you remember me. Are you another imposter sent to divide us? What do 
Now you mean. Today, a Dalek claimed that it was Davros. It was delusional, but many Daleks believed that Davros had returned to us. That is the reason for the present conflict. These developments are alarming. A rogue Dalek claiming to be me. Divisions in the Dalek ranks. And I see you have returned to defend Skaro. We must defend our home world. Why? You had established a sound footing on several other worlds. Worlds that had far more to offer than this ravaged piece of rock. Heart, do not move! Do not move! Daleks! If the Doctor harms me or the girl, he is to be exterminated at once. You understand me? At once! We obey! Now, put the weapon down, Doctor, or I shall have no choice but to let the Daleks exterminate you. I warned you, I will kill the girl. And if you do, you will die. Daleks, I am not the Doctor. I am Davros. In the Doctor's body, the Doctor tricked you. He used the mind exchange. <laughs> A transparent ruse, Doctor. Now, are you going to put the gun down or not? Daleks, take him to the Chateau Dungeons and lock him up. And leave a Dalek in the cell with him, with orders that if he attempts to escape, he is to be exterminated. Father, there you are. Oh! This is the one I told you about. This is Will Arrowsmith. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. It is a pleasure to meet you too, my boy. Please, come in and tell me all about the Daleks. In. In. Thank you, sir. There is no need for such formality. Father will do. Don't worry, we can all speak freely, Will. There's a dead spot in the surveillance scans right above the house. Oh, well, that's handy. <laughs> I fixed it that way, obviously. It is helpful that the superintendent shares our concerns. When we intercept chatter about the Daleks, we're supposed to pass it immediately downstairs to the re-education department. Instead, Karen deletes it from the record and brings it straight to me. But why, sir? I, I mean, father. Actually, I'd rather you, sir, I, I think, if that's all right. Quite all right, my boy. It's just... the war's been over for 20 years. What use is information about the Daleks? I should have thought that was plain. To a boy of such obvious intelligence. They're still here. There are Daleks among us, Will. Everywhere among us. They never left. Although I sleep, my dream lives on. Time is broken on Skaro. Past, present, and future are intertwined for life to continue. Simplification is needed. And that is the one thing my Daleks excel at. They are single-minded. They are determined. They are ruthless. I created them purely to survive. And that is precisely what they will do. Once more, the lights of Skaro blaze out across the universe, and they shall never again be extinguished! Complexities must be disregarded. Confusions eliminated. There are intruders in the city. They must be eradicated. Nothing must interfere with the return of my creation. My children may have forgotten me, but one day they will remember. And then I shall make sure they never forget me again! Time must be restored to its true path. The time of the Dark.
Alex. I'm just a passerby. I was looking for a bookshop. How do you think I'm doing? This isn't a bookshop. No, this is a war. A very old one going by the mix of technology. Which war is this? I get them all modeled up. It's just the war. Where am I? What planet is this? I don't understand. Oh, well, neither do I. I try never to understand. It's called an open mind. Now, you have got to make a choice. A choice? Yes, you have got to decide that you're going to live. Survival is just a choice. Choose it now. If I move, they'll get me. I told you, you have one chance in a thousand. But one is all you ever need. What's your name? Come on. Faith in the future. Introduce yourself. Tell me the name of the boy who isn't going to die today. Davros. My name is Davros. Hello? Are you still there? Please, you've got to help me. You said I could survive. You said you'd help me. Help me! It took me so long to realize it was you standing at the gates of my beginning. And here you are, at the end. But this time, I have you at my mercy. Exterminate! Doctor. Ancient. Inoperable. Genius. You would threaten a dying man. Have I not suffered enough? Leave this chamber, it sustains me. Get out! Help me! You can't leave me! You promised! You did! You said I could survive! You said you'd help me! Help me! I hope you are grateful. It wasn't easy to procure, and very nearly unique, of course. You should feel privileged. The only other chair on Scaro. Don't get up. You neither. The chamber is sealed, and I believe you are not carrying your sonic device. Gave it up. Bad memories. I am dying, Doctor. You keep saying that. You keep not dying. Can you give it some welly? Come on. And it is time for us to conclude our business together. We have no business. We have nothing but... Look again at the cables, Doctor. Understand what they are. Oh. I think we can up that to 100%. However, I give you my word, this time, there's a 0% chance of the Doctor's survival. You might have a new face, Doctor, but I see you are still the same old prattling fool. Davros, not so much a bad penny as a mad penny. What have you done with the population of the Earth? I have given them new. Employment. The Daleks. They are. Yes, Doctor. Your precious humans. Confine him to a holding cell. Whilst I reformat a Dalek production line to accept a Time Lord body. <laughs> Welcome to my new empire, Doctor. It is fitting that you should be the first to fall to the power of the Daleks. I am your creator! We cannot override the Doctor's commands! Curse you, Doctor. And that'll be your fleet exploding, Davros. I hope you're well insured. Curse you! See you next 
next time, Davros. Are, are you waiting for me? Ah, Davros, my boy! There you are! Uh, do, do I know you? Oh, my dear boy, you were but a babe in arms when I last saw you. Uh, uncle, but why are you here? I bring great news. What great news? Your future achievements, of course. Future... I don't understand. What, what are you doing? What's that you keep looking at? Oh, it's just a primitive chronometer. A watch. Just checking the time. Why are you checking the time? Because I'm waiting for a precise moment. Look, I'm very busy and I'm not sure you actually are. Just I'm... imagine what might happen if a shell were to hit this area while you were working in your secure laboratory. Would it be fatal? No. More likely, you'd be horribly scarred, unable to move without the assistance of technology, without the use of some form of travel machine. T -t travel machine? Ah, yes, I see. The ideas are already forming in your head. You are to achieve great things, my boy. Or rather, you were. What do you mean? Because you're not in your secure laboratory, are you? You're here, in the one weak spot of the bunker. This little observation room, with such a lovely view of Scarrow's devastation. <sighs> Day five. Mm. I awake. Davros, there you are. You're up. Just about. You didn't wake me. I thought you might need a lion. You've been working so hard. Well, so have you. <laughs> I didn't realise it was a competition. Oh. I fancy getting up. Doesn't mean you need to. I made cereal. You made it? What, you grew the crocs? Harvested them? Processed the grain? Do you want to eat it or wear it? Um, Eat it, please. Then sit down and get started. <laughs> oh, feels a bit brisk for the time of year. Then you should be wearing your dressing gown. Mm. There's a reason I bought it. Uh, I'm just not too keen on the colour. Do you feel that? The ingratitude. No, uh, uh, there's something in the air. Something metallic. Uh, uh, an energy. It, it, it's almost electric. You're telling me you can't feel that? I can't feel anything. It must be my imagination, then. And what about him? Is he your imagination, too? Who? Oh. Davros, Chant, what are you doing out here? I was knocking at your door for ages. I thought I'd missed you. We were having breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast? This is no time for breakfast. Well, obviously, it's the morning. It's exactly the right time for breakfast. But that's not what I mean. We went to look at the portal. Uh, sorry, who are you? Y you don't know. I've never seen you before in my life. You must be mistaken us for someone else. But that's not possible. He knows our names. Well, a lot of people do. Maybe he's picked up a scientific journal at some point. Seen a news report. It's me. It's the doctor. <laughs> you need a doctor. You're not joking. You don't know me. This doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't, does it? So if you could just please leave. But the plan, Davros, you agreed. We both agreed. This is the time. If we don't go now, we'll never escape. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. We are now going, and hopefully we are escaping you. No, it's not me you have to worry about. It's the time strategist. He's coming for you. <laughs> don't let him trouble you, Chan. He's clearly not well. Day one. I just want to be sure it's functioning perfectly, that's all. Well, as a test run, before our friends get here. Oh, something like that. Oh, I suppose it's probably a good idea. Check it's all in working order. Let's see now. Yes. Yes. All seems to be as normal. So you came here? Our dimensional portal connected with yours. It was fortunate. Fortunate? Without your activation of that machine, I would not have arrived. Because you were using yours for a different purpose. You say the Daleks were seeking a prize before you needed to escape. What was that prize? Can 
Can you not guess? We sought our creator. We knew defeat was inevitable. We knew our end was near. He perhaps could save us. But that isn't me. Why not seek him in your own universe? In our universe, he is long since lost, long since dead. Another casualty of the doctor's interference. He killed me. It is all he does. But here, you are alive. And you can save us from him. And why would I want to do that? Because the Doctor carries within him a burning hatred of all our kind. In my universe, you were merely another one of his countless victims. If he is here, he will stop at nothing to destroy the Khalids of this universe, whether they have become Daleks or not. And to prevent that, I must turn my people into Daleks? That is correct. I can't. I cannot. But please, enjoy. I'm told the blends are very refreshing. Yeah, not bad. My own arrival was quite arduous. Even after all this time, I do not remember precisely where I'm from. Or who I am. But you seem to know me. Curious, is it not? This is very civilised, but really we've no time to waste. You claim this world faces imminent attack. If you're studying the Gulf, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. My equipment is designed to monitor a range of phenomena. Would you mind if Bliss had a look at your setup? She's something of an expert and very keen. Yes, right, I'm very keen. I have called a meeting of the board. I can show you the learning station on the way with permission of Sir Davros. Uh, of course. I welcome informed opinions. So, Davros, how have you been? Well, Doctor, I am well. Considering the last time I saw you, you were at the head of a freshly minted Dalek army setting out to conquer the multiverse. Isn't this a bit of a come down? Is that what you recall? Drop the pretense. This is you and me now. Why are you really here? <sighs> you will not allow me even some small respite, will you? No. Where are your Daleks? My Daleks! They abandoned me. All that promise, all that potential. I would have gladly led them to victory. Now I exist only for them to leech off me. And so what happens when you spoil your kids? No gratitude, no appreciation. Don't mistake this for sympathy, Davros. You've ended up with much more than you deserve. Precisely. Now, tell me, what will Bliss find in your lab? 